say we love you. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ooh, orange peas. So what do y'all normally do on Christmas? Just get a, get together with the family, have a meal. Cause y'all get together for a lot of occasions, birthdays, graduations, right? We meet when, when 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 we don't have to. Love it. So it's it's holidays uh -huh. and birthdays and just any time we decide. Sometimes we just decide that we want to do something. Mm -hmm. And we'll call each other and meet somewhere, have a picnic, barbecue, mm -hmm. or whatever. That's beautiful. Yeah, well, I need yeah. well, a lot too. So how many kids do the two of you have? Exactly. How many? The two of us have five kids together, but it's seven and nine. Okay. One of them is deceased. Okay, so when did y'all meet? Mm. <laughs> I, I I don't really know. <laughs> it was way back. Well, we we got married in 1963. 1963. So it was somewhere way back then, maybe five or six years before then. Uh -huh. Maybe a little longer than that. But Do you remember? Huh? It was in the 50s. Class. Yeah. You are way older than I am. And it was mm. not in the 50s. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All I know is another day. It may have been. If it was in the 50s, it had to be the end. Do y'all remember where it was? It was an event? Did y'all meet at a park or something like that? No, we just, we just met in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. When did you know you'd get married? Who proposed first? I don't know whether anybody really Nobody proposed. proposed. <laughs> you just ended up married. <laughs> and notice how I asked, uh, who proposed? Because everybody think a man is supposed uh, propose. A lot, of, most of the time, when women propose, they just do it in a different way. They don't actually get on a knee and all that kind of stuff. But they're actually just showing you that they want to spend the rest of their life with you. And I'm just trying to figure out who made the initial move to say, "Look, we're a couple." I don't know. I may have said when we gonna get married. Okay. See that. Once y'all got married. Um, did you realize, did you plan for a big family, or were you just, just happened to be blessed with them? No, I didn't plan for it. I didn't want the two period. <laughs> That's all I wanted, a boy and a girl. Mm. That was it. How about you? I didn't have that in mind. <laughs> I'll just float. Just float, man. I've been here from Virginia since 2009. Mm -hmm. 2017, man. Next week it'll be 2018. This is a completely looking different place. I can't imagine how it looked to the both of you, let's just say 20, 20 years ago. How did it look to you? Oh, it was nice then. Really? It was crazy, man. What do you think did that? Do you think the Olympics in 96 did that, or was it before then? Yeah, it was, it was, it was after that. Yeah. Mm, was it all the new people coming in? Because right now, it's, I have to ask people where they're from when I meet them because there's a lot of people yeah. from different places here. Yeah. Yeah. They don't change the name, so I don't even know where to go. Mm, <laughs> don't wow. Where, don't know where I'm going. Everything <laughs> looks different. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, back when back when things were the way you used to like it, can you remember some, some of your favorite places that you two like to go? Kind of peacock. Court, the Peacock. Palm Sam. And what, what kind of place is this? It's club on Alton Avenue. Okay. It's still up. Raw your peacock. Raw your peacock. Yeah, it's still up. Yeah, still up. Yeah. Back nice. then, it was kind of professional. Like yeah. it had to be uh, uppity. Yeah. Like an upscale. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember the peacock, but I don't know nothing about no Ponciana. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <That's what laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> because he. 
Well, I, I, I just turned 74. He's 80. He's just solid. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so you know what? Your name. Y'all have a good life. Your relationship. Yeah. Don't look nothing yeah. like your ages. Well, thank you. They say I'm married. Well, I'm party with y'all. I, I mean, age is just a number, I guess. That's it's true. all about this good, right? I don't worry about age. There you go. That's true. Nice, very nice. So um, when he was when he was <laughs> roaming around, I was still what trying to find some shoes to put on. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I want to touch on a little bit about uh, a mother and a father, and, and raising one kid is tough enough, but when you have multiple kids, most, multiple personalities, different needs, and things like that, do you agree that it's going to take a partner, a partnership to combat that type of thing? Yes. yes. Now, how do y'all do it? With all the kids you have, how did y'all successfully do it in putting these, these uh, citizens that, that produce in society? Not, not people who are taken from society, they're given it and have good personalities. Yep, That's, they're part of the view now. Well, my kids grew up knowing that they had rooms mm -hmm. and they had, they had, they weren't like most kids now. They come home and they just go out and play and they don't have anything to do. And they had, they had work to do. Okay. They had their homework to do. They had things to do around the house. Mm -hmm. Each day, somebody had we had a list of yeah of who do nice. dishes tonight or who do this that and other. Mm -hmm. They were responsible for keeping their rooms clean. Okay. Nowadays, most of the time, kids' rooms are dirty mm -hmm. unless the parents clean. But each one of them, they had things to do, mm -hmm. and they whenever one was out in the band or whatever, somebody would take their place doing whatever they had to do at home and then that next one that was there, they did their job. Oh, wow. Time. So, we had rules and if somebody got out of hand, we had a battle. Mm. So, so, who who was good cop, bad cop? It's even worse than mine. This bad cop, Papa yeah. was a bad cop? I, I didn't like whooping. I take my dad off him. <laughs> Beat them. That's the only way they can learn. That's the way I learned. My dad used to beat me. Mm -hmm. I beat me in school. I beat him 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 in school. Good. Gracious. Well, it's something I didn't do. But I still took the whooping for it, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't like whoopings at all. I felt the world was abused when I was a child. Really? Yeah. Taking whoopings and beating for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Cause it didn't bother me. It was eight of us. And if any of them do something wrong, I took the father's side. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Did you probably wouldn't have whooped me at all. Yeah. I took the father's side. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And he don't know what I'm doing. I just go in the room to close the door. And then he come in and start his mouth. I, I don't, I don't <laughs> say nothing to him. And he know I can keep silent. Oh man, wow. You hear that lady? Yeah, she know I can say I know. Yeah. Hear that fella? <laughs> See, listen. And you just unlocked something. Because you made me remember some things. They always want to explain it now. I want to talk now. I want to this now. Let's get it out of the way right now. It might not be right. You said when it's hot, I get out of the kitchen. And we'll come back when everything comes up. I think that's very effective. You see, when you keep going away, you always come back. If you stand there and hurt each other verbally, you might say something that you didn't want to say. You might react in a way that you didn't want to react because we're all human. We get upset. We get emotional. So I think their formula work. Whatever they have been doing work. Now they just gave y'all some answers. It's up to y'all to follow. Well, one thing I found about life: mm -hmm. if you can help somebody, help them. Yeah. And if you can't help them, don't worry about it. Wow. That's why you tell me all the time: say you don't worry about nothing, do you? I go home, I go to sleep, mm -hmm. forget about it. Because if I can help you, I can help you. Well, I'm gonna help you. Okay. But I'm not gonna lay there and worry about it all night because mm -hmm. I couldn't help you. Mm -hmm. I just gonna forget about it. Try to do something else. Raising a family, I mean, it looks like it looked like it was effortless, but it obviously took a lot of work. Uh, you have any difficult children? It's hard to deal with. They want to listen. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, I took care of that. When they were coming you took care of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyone that was just easy, just like on autopilot. Well, Clifton and Clarion and Suzette, they was kind of easy, but Anthony and Dennis, they was, they had to have a little help. Mm -hmm. But but they end up, they knew we had rules and regulations. Okay. So if they got out of hand, you know, mm -hmm. we just go to it and. Um, Clyde was a whipper and I was a, so. Yes, thank y'all. Yeah. So it, uh, you know, it worked out. It worked out. Were y'all, were y'all one of the type of couples who would kind of mentor like neighborhood kids and, and uh, like your, your your children's friends and stuff like that? Were y'all involved with them? Yes, I was. Some of um, my oldest son, Friends used to come over all the time. Even you know, Clifton's little buddies used to come around the house all the time. Mm -hmm. But um, they'd come up to me now and help Miss Robinson. You really helped me when we was growing mm -hmm. up because whenever you sit down to talk to Anthony, you talk to me just like I was your son too. Wow. So uh, you know, I had no problem talking to them. And I didn't know what their parents would say about it, but mm -hmm. they got a talking to. You. If, if something happened around there, mm -hmm. okay, you was with me, you can't too. So that's why I did it things. In a relationship like this, how important is, well, I should ask it this way. What's more important, respect or love? If you had to choose one. Respect. Yes, sir. What do you think? Mm -hmm. more important than love. Respect is important, but I think both are it's definitely both of them, but if you have to pick one. Uh, respect, mm -hmm. because a lot of times you can, uh, something come up and you know you love them, but they need to respect you at that time for what you're about to tell them. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you had to give one up, which is unnatural, I, I, I most think people, especially in this climate, love has been just... Uh, disrespected so much you don't even know a lot of people who say they love you don't even know what the concept is mm -hmm. everybody know what respect is mm -hmm. and i believe what true respect love will come mm -hmm. i think respect is the foundation do you agree or disagree true i think so okay so with that said you know uh guys don't be so quick to say i love you love is about showing anyway mm -hmm. um surprise somebody one day and say I respect you and watch the response you get. But once you say it, you actually really have to do it. Because you just put yourself on the spot that you understand what's important in relationships. So respect and love, we have to have them both. But we're we gonna need respect. 
and then the love will come. Please forgive me, guys. I'm getting a little choked up. But uh, this is a very important subject that we're on. It, uh, the family is doing a documentary. And uh, you're hearing it from them, them themselves. I mean, I can't read a script and, and get this information. It comes from the individual. Another couple have a different set of uh, uh, answers to these same questions. This is the answers that this couple has. And uh, do you know who even got this happening? You know who even set this interview up? You have a clue? Mm, I doubt it. I think, um, I, I'm not sure, but it, Jasmine and Clara. Mm -hmm. Yep. But one thing, Your about, my, right? yeah. one thing about my children, I tried to raise them the way I was. Okay. And I've been blessed. I got seven. None of them have been on drugs. See? None of them have never been to jail. My dad had eight, and it was the same way. Yeah, he, he go on trip, vacation, he take all his children with him. Mm -hmm. So when I raised up that way, I used to take mine everywhere we go. Florida, nice. anywhere, fishing, mm -hmm. boat riding, I take all of them. Nice. So when they raised up that way, so now they take their children on uh -huh. trip and vacation when they go. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's just the way it was. I was told to ask y'all if there was one place that uh, you haven't visited yet that you would like to visit, what would that place be? Do you have you might have the same answers, you might have different answers. Let's hear from both of them. <laughs> You've been everywhere. You've been everywhere. Uh -huh. across the water. I don't want to go across the You want to go across the water. So uh, leaving the country is out of the place. Walk back. Oh I, I feel you on that. But I've been every just about everywhere all over. Okay. Nice. Were you in the military? No, I. You just were just venturous like that. I couldn't go to the military because uh, I was in high school. My older brother volunteered. Uh huh. And I was going with him, but he ran me back home. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. How about you, mom? Any place you want to visit that you haven't been? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Why Jerusalem? I don't know. I, I guess because uh, as I read the Bible a lot, I just like to, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. And I just like to go over there and and just just tour it and see what's what. Wow. <clears throat> Jerusalem. I, I, I would have never have guessed that. That's, I, I've thought about that ever since I was 15 or 16 really? years old. I had an opportunity to go there several times. Jerusalem. Uh, but I just didn't want to fly. Oh, okay. So my baby sister, she fell a lot. She seven days in. Oh, okay. Seven days in. Uh -huh. But I just can't fly. Well, what would you uh, be looking for if you was actually able to go there? Whatever I say. <laughs> <laughs> you believe the history that we've been taught, the religion that we've been taught is pretty accurate or a little bit with an agenda? Well, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. I believe in what I read, uh -huh. and, and, but I also believe in some other religion. I listen okay. to what people say and and I have books that different people have given me mm -hmm. in their religion. And I can believe some of what they say because it, it, it kind of closely relates to yeah. what I but read in my Bible mm -hmm. too. So I just think that they have a different way of rewarding it. Yeah. But I think I we all kind of basically <clears throat> is the same. Did you raise your kids on religious beliefs or just the, the law, law of the parents? Respect. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Love> <laughs> parents, yeah. Respect people. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's, that's the main thing about life is respecting people. Gotcha. And don't, you know, get angry with people. Mm -hmm. If poison says something you don't like, just let it go. Okay. And go on. Mm -hmm. And you have a better life. Mm -hmm. Don't argue with nobody. I never argued with nobody in my life. Mm -hmm. I never fought with anybody in my life. Mm -hmm. And I never been mad with anybody in my life. Wow, that's, that's an achievement. <laughs> I have them. Because my dad always told me, say, if somebody says something you don't like, 
Keep that tongue in your mouth. Okay. So that's the worst enemy that you got in the world. It mm-hmm. probably is your, your worst enemy. Your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned how to do that. Just keep my mouth shut to say something I don't like. Mm-hmm. I listen at you. Mm-hmm. And let you have it. Okay. I don't try to, you know, try to upgrade you on it. Compliment you on it. Nothing. I just let it be. Okay. Cause I had an aunt, she everything she said, you get to talk, she said, Dad be. Mm. Whatever it is, Dad be. So it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. Like so I leave it be. Nice. Mm-hmm. Y'all have any favorite colors? Uh, anything? I want to see if, what, what do y'all have in common? Is it a food, a certain food, or a certain color, a certain season? Y'all have, what, what do you have in common? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything come natural. So the opposite's attractive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We just blends with each other. We disagree with things. We agree with things. Mm-hmm. We just blend. Just blend. Huh? Mm-hmm. We disagree. We don't argue so I just leave it be. Wow. Okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all a cute couple, and I know Pop won't like that word, but I'm, I, I just got to tell you, there had to be a, a lot of different attractions for you two because you look like you were meant to be together. You obviously were, and it's happy. To, I'm happy to see you. You give me hope. You know, there, there's hope out there. Yeah, so there's hope out there for everybody. Mm-hmm. You just have to not be in a hurry okay. to grab it. And we liked not being, mm-hmm. but it, you know how to do for yourself. Yeah, cause you know we, how to do for we, yourself, yeah. we, mm-hmm. we had talked a few times, but then we went out of separate ways. Okay. But we ended up coming back together. You're gonna get your whole name. Edith T. Robertson. Sir. Clyde Robertson. Clyde Lee Robertson. It's your Mr. DJ Doc Dice right here with the Robinsons. Merry Christmas 2017. Get back at me.